Hi, welcome to Inkscape for Maths Teachers. I'm Jeff Phillips and in this tutorial I'll be looking at drawing a tangram puzzle. First let's go to a blank canvas. Now the important thing is to have a grid to go by. So if you go to View, Page, Grid, that should come up. Yours might be different or have different spacings but you can control mouse wheel to zoom in or out uh, to suit. It doesn't really matter as long as you can get an 8 by 8 grid. grid. Ensure that Snap to Grid is turned on here and we're going to draw an 8 by 8 uh, grid. If I click, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and there's the shape that we'll be using. <coughs> Excuse me. Now what I want to draw is this shape here. You see two big triangles on the left hand side so I'll just go back and I'm going to use the Bezier Pen tool. So if I click here, click to there and there and then close the shape. Now I'll do another one from here, to here, to here and close the shape. <coughs> I might, excuse me, I might colour those. Doesn't really matter what colour. And keep going in this manner. Just checking what's next. Perhaps I'll do the triangle in this corner. Go back to here. And again, Bezier tool. There. Click. Wait, wait to snap onto the right nodes. <coughs> Excuse me again. And there we go. Now the next shape I'll do will be the triangle in the top right corner. Again, Bezier Pen Tool. Click. Click. And back to the start. I'll make that pink. Next one is the square below that, I think. So, Bezier Pen Tool. Click. Click. The grid is very useful here. Click. And back to the start. <coughs> and I'll make that grey. Next one, I think, is the parallelogram down here. I'll just check. Going to here. Yeah, parallelogram the triangle above it. So, again, Bezier Pen Tool. Click each vertex and back to the start and give that a different colour. We still need to draw this triangle shape rather than leave it as a gap. So work my way around there with the Bezier Pen tool as well. And you can see I missed it didn't close, so control Z. That's better. Click and make that perhaps brown. Okay. Now I'm going to click on the on the outside here if I can get that. No, I'll just drag that out of the way. Now I can get to the outside square. Click on that and delete. We don't need that anymore. In fact, you maybe didn't really need it at the start either. Now I'm going to turn the grid off. View page grid. Select all the shapes, change the fill to black, click away, so you can have that as your puzzle if you like, or you can select it all and shift click on the white and give it a white border. You can change the thickness of that white border uh, if you need to by bringing up the fill and stroke menu and the stroke style and changing the thickness here if I dial that up. I don't really want to do that. It's interfering with the geometry of the shapes too much. Maybe 0.5. Okay. You might want to have a couple of sets of shapes. You can select the whole lot. And control D to duplicate. And drag, control drag, another set. You can then use the shapes to draw different objects. For example, I'll go back to the original file now. Yeah. I've drawn this bird using the shapes in the tangram. If I select it and shift click the white, you can see the shapes 
that I used. Again, if I need to rotate shapes around, for example this here, oh, I've grouped it so I'll just ungroup this. If I click that, I click it a second time and grab a corner and control in rotating 15 degree increments and that can be quite handy at times and leave your snapping tools on. So it's a good way to do tangrams without having to use paper. You can actually do it on screen and do it quite accurately. Anyway, that completes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.